Hey, it's Matt at Rough House Studios. Welcome to Cata Basics. Today, we're making a deep water culture hydroponic system. This episode is sponsored by Vapor DNA. You can save 10% off of all of your vaporizer or e-cig needs using the code DNA10 at vaporDNA.com. Okay, here's what you need. You need an aquarium air pump, aquarium air tubing, standard size, aquarium air stones, net pots, hydroton, which is a expanded clay grow medium, five gallon buckets or storage tubs. And you also need a drill, tape measure, and either a keyhole saw or a hole saw to make the holes in the top. A lot of these items are available on our Amazon idea list. You can find the link in the description for that. And we'll talk more about each item as we use them. Now the first step is going to be planning your system and you could do that in various ways depending on the size of your pump. If you're using a single outlet air pump, you could use like one five gallon bucket with a six inch net pot and that's good for one full size cannabis plant. With a double pump, you can expand that to two actual five gallon buckets or two large plants or you could use a large tub with several of the four or three inch net pots, say if you're growing auto flower. And with a quad pump, again, you can use four of the five gallon buckets, two of the large tubs or like we're building, one large tub and two five gallon buckets. Now we're gonna begin building our system. And the first thing you wanna do if you're using these graphite air stones, go ahead and soak those in water for about 30 minutes. That's gonna help them sink to the bottom. And it's recommended on the package to do that before you use these air stones. So I'm just doing that first so that I can go ahead and begin the project. And by the time I'm done with the project, those air stones will be ready to use. Now we're going to begin by drilling our air tube lines and depending on which size container you're using you want to decide where to put your air holes and on the buckets and with these six inch net pots you have a little bit more room to play with to make sure that your air hole is well above where your water line will be which is at least halfway up your net pot so make sure that you're drilling your single hole at least halfway up this, the distance that will be on your net pot once you put your net pot in and use the right size drill bit so that your air tube just barely fits through and it's just one line if you're putting it in the five gallon buckets. Now, if you're using the larger tubs, you're gonna to wanna to put two air stones in it. And it's the basic same concept, just make sure that you put your air holes way close to the top, especially if you're using the three inch or the four inch net pots, you're gonna need your air holes way to the top because your water line is gonna come all the way almost to the top of the bin itself. So put those two air hole lines in there for the larger containers. All right, and so once you have your air lines in, or your air holes in, you're gonna be able to put the air line through there and then attach on the inside of the buckets or the containers, the air stones. And those air stones are now soaked. And you're gonna make sure that you have plenty of line inside of your buckets or containers to get the air stone all the way to the bottom. And then make sure you have plenty of line on the outside of the container to be able to reach to your air pump once you have it in place in your area that you're gonna grow at. And again, I really love these six inch net pot wide lip container lids that fit on these five gallon buckets. Perfect for growing a full size cannabis plant. And when it comes to putting the air stones inside of your bucket or your larger containers, uh, again, I said you're gonna probably wanna put two inside of these containers, depending on what size container you use, and that is completely up to you. But uh, these larger containers, I wanna have about four plants in here, and I want a bubbler on each side so that both sides get plenty of air. And so now we're gonna to come to arguably the hardest part of this project, which is to place or to cut, trace out the holes that we're going to use for the little net pots. If you're using the three inch net pots, it's the perfect or the same size as a wide mouth mason jar or pickle jar usually. So you can check that. And then if you trace the outside of the jar, you want to cut inside of the line or your hole is going to be too big. So you want the hole itself to be three inches across. So however you want to mark that. And if you're using the four inch net pots, you want your lines to be four inches across and the hole to be exactly four inches. The easiest way to, would be to pay 30 bucks for a hole saw for your drill the right size. Uh, the easy way is to pay, or the cheaper way is to pay $10 for a keyhole saw and mark them yourself and just use a little elbow grease. Whichever way you decide, just make sure you get the holes the right size so that when you lift your pocket up, they'll all fit right down in there. You don't want anything sliding through and ruining your plants. So now we're going to test and fill our system. We have all the basic components ready, but now what we want to do before we fill it up with water is we want to put it in place because once they're full, it's going to be a lot harder to move them. So go ahead and arrange your system into place where you want it to be in your grow area. 
And when placing your system, you're also going to make sure that you have your pump well above the ground level. So that if anything happens and your water spills out, it won't hurt your pump. All right, now that we have everything in position, we can go ahead and run the lines to the air pump. And you want to do this and just kind of be organized and try to keep your lines as let's say is in order as possible and I don't really I'm not sure I'm going to leave my system in the configuration it is now so I don't want to cut them off short so I'm just using a twist tie or a wire tie and just very loosely bundling to keep them sort of organized but still allowing me flexibility to move it around later okay now everything is actually connected and so we're going to add some water and test out our bubbling and make sure it's working properly so you can see now I'm filling it up with water and the fill line on this is, like I said before, you wanna make sure that you're getting at least a third of the way up your net pots. And a third to a half of the way is ideal. This deep water culture system is not like the ebb and flow. The water is gonna stay in there all the time. So you wanna have room for your roots to have oxygen above the water as well as be able to access the water within there. So keeping that water level at the right place is critical in moving forward with that. So make sure that your net pots are gonna get a third to a halfway into the water. And then make sure that your bubblers are bubbling properly so you can go ahead once you have water in there cut your air pumps on or air pump on and make sure that your diffusers are working properly and you should have a nice effervescent look inside of your water I like these air stones there's other types of bubblers you can use but I like these air stones because they really just put out a lot of fine bubbles and I think that helps with the aeration now I'm not going to get too much into the pH and setting up the nutrients in this episode because it's too early in the season to start a cannabis crop. But in future episodes, we are going to go through that. So make sure that you follow us at roughhousestudios.com where we have all our videos posted. And if you want to buy any of the items that we use, check out our Rough House Studios affiliate shop at Amazon. Uh, again, I'd like to thank Vapor DNA for sponsoring this video. Use the code DNA10 to save 10% on any of your vaporizer needs at vaporDNA.com. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to Rough House Studios and follow us on roughhousestudios.com for more cannabis culture videos made just for you. This is Matt from Rough House. Thanks for watching.